we all love a day at the beach? Come on, is there anything better than lying on the sand or taking a dip in the ocean? We don't think so. But one thing is for sure, you never know what you might spot on the seashore. Yes, the beach can be a truly mysterious place. After all, 80% of our oceans are unexplored. From strange creatures that even scientists can't identify, to manatees stealing surfboards. If these 20 beach moments were not filmed, no one would believe them. Shipwreck Let's dive into the fascinating tale of the SS Monte Carlo, a notorious gambling ship that has recently resurfaced on the shores of Coronado, California, courtesy of some wild El Nino storms. Owned by mobsters, this ship sank around 80 years ago on New Year's Eve and was left abandoned on South Coronado Beach. But now, thanks to those powerful El Nino waves, bits and pieces of the wreckage are making a dramatic comeback. So here's the deal. The SS Monte Carlo was a sneaky little devil. It anchored itself just three miles off the coast of Coronado in international waters to dodge the strict gambling laws of the United States. It was part of a crew of gambling ships that dotted the coastline from San Diego to Long Beach, but this ship outshone them all. In its heyday, it welcomed over 15,000 gamblers each week. Talk about a party. Yep, during the Prohibition era, the SS Monte Carlo was the place to be for all of the rule breakers out there. Folks would hop on smaller boats and venture out to this sin ship for a wild night of gambling and maybe a sip or two of bootleg whiskey. The mobsters running the show knew exactly how to reel people in. They offered free water taxi rides and even free drinks. Who could resist such a tempting offer? And let's not forget about the cash. This floating den of debauchery was a money-making machine. It's estimated that the SS Monte Carlo raked in a mind-boggling $3 million in profits every single year. In today's money, that's over $52 million. But alas, all good things must come to an end. On that eventful New Year's Day in 1937, a wicked storm broke the ship's ties to civilization and set it adrift. Mother Nature had her way, tossing the ship around like a rag doll until it eventually found itself washed up on South Coronado Beach, where it has stayed put ever since. Dolphin Calf Seeks Help Get ready for a heartwarming tale that will make you believe in miracles. A baby dolphin found himself in a perilous situation, tangled up in a fishing net. But fear not, because the Dolphin Discovery Center Bunbury saved the day. You see, fishing nets are a real danger for marine animals, especially dolphins. Sadly, many of these majestic creatures get trapped and sadly lose their lives every year. But not this baby dolphin. Luckily, some sharp-eyed swimmers spotted the struggling calf and wasted no time in alerting the awesome team at the Dolphin Discovery Center. Without skipping a beat, the center's crew sprang into action. And guess what? They actually knew this little dolphin named Reggie very well. Reggie was born just a few months earlier right near their boat. With their knowledge of the dolphin family, the team knew they had to act quickly. They cleverly managed to get Calypso, Reggie's caring mother, on board with the rescue mission. Together, they guided the baby dolphin towards the safety of the beach. Once they reached the shore, the team carefully removed the pesky fishing net that had entangled poor Reggie. We love a happy ending. Hovercraft beaches itself. You won't believe the scene that unfolded on Hampton Beach. A hovercraft on its way from Cape Cod to Nova Scotia suddenly turned into an unexpected beachside attraction. How did this happen? Well, it suffered a whopping three-foot tear in its skirt, which forced the private owner, who used to work for the Canadian Coast Guard, to make a daring decision. With safety in mind, the owner determined that it was too risky to continue operating the damaged craft. So, what did they do? They deliberately ran the hovercraft aground on Hampton Beach. Don't worry though, despite the dramatic landing, no one was hurt in the process. But what about the hovercraft? Well, it's a massive air-cushioned vessel, powered by twin fan-like propellers. As it rested on the beach on that rainy afternoon, it turned into a real curiosity for passers-by. The timing was somewhat fortunate, as the beach was relatively empty due to the weather. Normally, this beach is packed with sunbathers enjoying the better weather. But on this particular day, it played host to an unexpected visitor, a shipwrecked hovercraft. 
Here's an interesting tidbit. The craft ended up landing near some piping plover nests. These endangered seabirds had made their homes on the beach, but thankfully the hovercraft's arrival didn't disturb them one bit. Hampton Police Chief Alex Reno made sure to assure everyone that the plovers were safe and sound. Phew, we're glad everyone is safe and sound, including the birds. Dogs play with sea otters. Otters and dogs, two creatures you wouldn't necessarily think of as natural playmates, have been caught in the act of some truly heartwarming interactions. It seems that others, with their mischievous and playful nature, can't resist the urge to investigate their canine companions. One of the most common forms of play between otters and dogs is chasing. Otters, known for their love of tag, will swim circles around the dog, inviting it to join in the pursuit. The dog eagerly gives chase, hoping to catch the nimble otter, but the clever creature always manages to slip away at the last moment, sparking a never-ending game of playful teasing and pursuit. Is there anything cuter than witnessing this bond between otters and dogs? We think not. These playful encounters serve as a reminder that friendship knows no bounds. Thousands of crocodiles at Brazil Beach. Just picture yourself strolling along the sandy shores only to find yourself surrounded by these toothy creatures. It sounds like a scene from a thrilling adventure movie, but it's actually happening in real life. A mind-blowing video capturing this unbelievable sight went viral on Twitter leaving everyone in awe with a whopping 4 million views. The video, uploaded by Ken Rudkowski, quickly gained attention, and he aptly dubbed it an invasion of crocodiles. Naturally, panic spread among the locals, who couldn't believe their eyes. However, as with many viral sensations, there is always more to the story than meets the eye. Skeptics took to social media questioning the authenticity of the claim. Was this truly a crocodile invasion, or was there something fishy going on? Well, here's the twist. Those crocodiles were not actually crocodiles at all. They were Yaker caimans, closely related to crocodiles, seeking some quality land time in the Pantanal wetlands of Brazil. With the staggering population of around 10 million caimans calling this vast area home, sightings like these are not as rare as one might think. So, while it may not be a full-blown crocodile invasion, coming face-to-face -face with these reptiles casually chilling on the beach is still a jaw-dropping experience. Rare Serpent-like Creature The longest bony fish in the ocean, this sea creature has often been mistaken for a mythical sea monster. But this isn't a blood-curdling kraken. Nope, this is a mysterious and often feared giant oarfish. The longest oarfish ever found was a whopping 36 feet long, and as you can imagine, the sight of one of these humongous fish can be totally terrifying. But it's not just their simply enormous size that these people are shaking with fear about. The oarfish is often associated with impending natural disasters, and this rare fish is a seriously bad omen amongst sailors, fishermen, and coastal communities. In fact, prior to the Japanese tsunami in 2011, as many as 20 oarfish made a rare appearance along the shores, causing panics amongst the locals. Yep, it's believed that these mysterious fish live so deep under the sea that they can actually sense devastating earthquakes as the tectonic plates in the Earth's crust move, meaning that they can actually predict tsunamis and rush to the water's surface. This is one rare fish that we actually hope we never spot in real life. In Crocodile Caught in Fishing Net A group of fishermen in Alva Cody, Shirali, recently had the shock of a lifetime when they stumbled upon a gigantic crocodile tangled in their fishing net. That's the last thing you want to see. And things took a wild turn from there. The fishermen swiftly alerted the forest department, and officials swooped in to save the day. They bravely took custody of the monstrous reptile, saving the fishermen from the giant croc. These nature-loving heroes decided to give our scaly friend a second shot at freedom. They released the mighty crocodile back into the wild where it belongs. Experts say that heavy rains in recent days might have tempted this adventurous crocodile to take a dip in the blue sea. Who can blame it for wanting to explore new horizons? Nature always finds a way to surprise us. Giant Kraken Carcass Prepare to have your mind blown by the incredible story of a colossal sea monster. Just recently, a giant squid measuring a mind-boggling 14 feet long made an astonishing appearance on Scarborough Beach in Cape Town, South Africa. It's not every day you see a creature of this magnitude. 
What makes this discovery even more captivating is that it's the second time a creature of its kind has washed up on the very same beach. Scientists have long been fascinated by these enormous creatures, and this unexpected sighting has left them scratching their heads in wonder. The mystery surrounding how this majestic creature met its untimely end has the scientific community buzzing with curiosity. To crack the case, researchers will need to meticulously examine the squid and unravel the cause of its demise. Some speculate that the unfortunate creature may have ventured into shallow waters in search of a hearty meal, only to collide with the ship's propeller. Ouch. Now, let's dive into the fascinating world of giant squid. These magnificent beings prefer the chilly depths of the ocean, lurking between 1,600 to 3,200 feet beneath the surface. That's where they spend most of their days, unless they decide to explore the shallows in search of food. And boy, are they equipped for their deep sea adventures. Their eyes are truly a marvel to behold, resembling dinner plates in size. These extraordinary peepers allow them to see in even the darkest corners of the ocean. It's safe to say that we never want to bump into one of these creatures in the wild. Dead Whale Shark Washes Ashore A deceased sperm whale was washed ashore in the Philippines, adding to the growing concern over a series of whale deaths. It seems like our majestic ocean friends are facing a tough time. According to the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, or DENR, two fishermen spotted the massive 60-foot carcass on a beach in the Davao region early one Saturday morning, however the cause of its demise remains a mystery that experts are determined to uncover. Pretty strange, right? What makes this incident even more bizarre is that it's the second dead sperm whale discovered in the Philippines this year alone. As you could imagine, these occurrences are sending shivers down the spines of whale enthusiasts worldwide. You see, sperm whales are facing a tough battle for survival. The International Union for Conservation of Nature has them classified as vulnerable meaning they're at high risks of going extinct in the wild. And in the United States, they're even listed as endangered under the Endangered Species Act. It's a serious wake-up call to protect these magnificent creatures and their habitats. As the experts dig deeper into the reasons behind the whale's unfortunate demise in Davao, they're facing another challenge, how to handle the disposal of such a massive carcass. It's not an easy task, considering their enormous size. While letting nature take its course is an option, there's a risk of harmful gases building up. Yep, you don't want to get too close to this bloated whale. The smell would haunt you for the rest of your life. And Little Blue Crabs Marching Meet the Light Blue Soldier Crab. These crabs have quite the range, from the Bay of Bengal all the way down to Australia. And guess what? They're considered as one of the most loved crabs in Australia. Quite the honor, right? Now, when it comes to appearances, these guys are about 25 millimeters across and sport a beautiful combination of white and blue on their backs. You'll notice something unique about their claws. They proudly hold them upright. It's their signature move. But what do these little fellas do as they strut their stuff on the sandy beaches? Well, they have quite the appetite for detritus, which is basically a fancy lingo for organic waste in the sand. As they munch away, they leave behind cute little rounded pellets of discarded sand. It's like their own mini sand art exhibition. But here's where things get even more intriguing. The male soldier crabs have a knack for forming large armies as they gallantly traverse the beach during low tide. It's a sight to behold, my friends. They march in unison, showing off their synchronized crab moves. Once they've had their fun, they skillfully dig into the sand and patiently wait for the next low tide ready to embark on their next new adventure. So, if you find yourself on the stunning shores of Bribey Island, keep your eyes peeled for the mesmerizing march of the Blue Soldier Crabs. And now it's time for our open discussion. This man's camera caught something terrifying on the beach. We never knew mermaids could be this scary. Now we know why sailors used to fear these legendary sirens so much. These two guys were strolling the beach at night when all of a sudden they found this mysterious creature washed up on the shore. Yikes. But what do you guys think of this crazy pic? Let us know using the hashtag open discussion in the comment section below. Manatee steals kid's surfboard. You won't believe what happened when a manatee decided to steal a child's surfboard off the coast of Florida. Lisa Blaze captured the entire jaw-dropping encounter on video and shared it on Facebook, leaving the internet in awe. Lisa's son, Evan, enjoying a day of surfing in the gorgeous Fort Pierce Inlet. 
Little did he know that an unexpected guest was about to crash the party. Enter the curious and playful manatee. This gentle giant of the sea decides to check out Evan's surfboard. At first, Evan mistook the manatee for a shark and got a bit frightened. But much to his surprise, the manatee had no intention of causing harm. In fact, it seemed like it wanted to join in on the fun. The playful creature nudges the surfboard, testing the waters. And before you know it, it places the flipper right on top of the board. Move over, Evan, the manatee has officially claimed ownership. This unforgettable encounter served as a once-in-a-lifetime gift for Lisa's twin boys, who were celebrating their 11th birthday the very next day. Talk about a birthday celebration to remember. It's not every day that you get up close and personal with playful manatees while out surfing. Kinder Eggs Whoa, you won't believe the bizarre beach discovery that just went down on Lagug Island in Germany. Prepare to have your mind blown by a colorful invasion of epic proportions. We're talking thousands of toy containers from Kinder Eggs washing up on the sandy shores, creating a jaw-dropping scene that has captivated locals and tourists alike. It all started when the official police account for Lower Saxony took to Twitter to spill the beans about this strange occurrence. The island found itself transformed into a kaleidoscope of colors as these multi-hued balls made their grand entrance. But hold up, this wasn't just a random event, it was a call to action for the island's residents. In a heartwarming display of community spirit, the islanders rallied together to tackle the aftermath of the storm and keep their beloved beach pristine. Now, let's ask the burning question. How on earth did these Kinder Egg toy containers end up adorning the shores of the island? Brace yourself for this wild ride. It's believed that they were part of the cargo that went overboard from a ship cruising from China to Germany under the flag of Denmark. These adventurous toy-filled eggs took an unexpected detour through the vast seas, only to make a dazzling debut on the island's coastline. And guess what? Some of the plastic eggs even contained pieces of paper with Russian writing on them. This beach mystery just gets more and more mind-boggling. Sea Snails Feast Introducing the Bullia digitalis, the ultimate beach scavenger. This fascinating species sure knows how to dominate the shores. These snails have a unique talent. They can smell decaying animal matter from afar and rush in from all directions to feast on the delicious bounty. Talk about a nose for adventure. As the tide begins to rise, the finger plow shell emerges from its sandy hideout, unfurling its impressive foot like a sail, and catches a wave up the beach, all in pursuit of that irresistible scent of carrion. But that's not all. The snail's large foot serves multiple purposes. When the tide retreats, it cleverly burrows itself deep into the sand, creating a cozy hideaway until the next wave of opportunity. And when it comes to dining, this snail knows how to get down to business. It extends a nifty feeding tool into its prey, sucking up those delectable soft tissues with precision and finesse. If you ever come across a mesmerizing gathering of Bullia digitalis, don't be alarmed. It's just a party of plow snails feasting on dead and stranded jellyfish and blue bottles. These snails are the true beach MPVs, showing us that when it comes to survival and finding a good meal, they're the experts of the seashore, even if they are kind of gross. Gray Whale Graces Black Beaches Surfers Surfers at Black Beach in San Diego, California were just out for a typical day of catching waves and enjoying the sun. Little did they know that Mother Nature had something extraordinary in store for them. A giant gray whale decided to join their beach party, making a splash with its unexpected appearance. As the surfers rode the waves, they couldn't believe their eyes when they spotted the massive creature skimming along the shoreline. The majestic gray whale was on its way back from its annual migration to Mexico, and it seemed to be giving the surfers a friendly greeting as it glided by. How adorable! Now, Black Beach is renowned for its stunning sands and impressive waves, attracting surfers from near and far. But on this day, the surfers got more than just killer waves. They got an up-close encounter with one of the ocean's gentle giants. One seasoned surfer shares some insights into the incredible encounter, suggesting that the whale might have been a young one. Young whales tend to be curious and love to wander around. It's like they're teenagers who've just been handed the car keys for the first time. We hope this juvenile whale is out there in the ocean now, living its best life. Sea Pickles Sea pickles are taking over the ocean. It may sound like the plot of a SpongeBob SquarePants episode, 
But these tropical pyrosomes really are taking over the seven seas. When unusually warm temperatures swept the west coast of North America, these strange sea pickles swam towards the Pacific Northwest to see what all the fuss was about. These slug-like sea creatures resemble a pink blob of jelly, and each individual is actually a whole colony of zoids that have lumped together to form one big entity. In fact, these sea pickles can grow as large as a school bus. Not only that, but they eat enormous amounts of plankton and researchers aren't sure what effect their presence will have on delicate ocean ecosystems. These blooms of sea pickles can become so enormous that one team of researchers actually scooped up 60,000 pyrosomes in just 5 minutes. We told you that they were taking over. These spooky sea pickles won't stop until they achieve global domination. Killer Whale Washes Up Heartbreaking news has rocked the shores of Flagger County as a killer whale was discovered stranded on the beach. This massive female orca measuring a whopping 22 feet in length and weighing a staggering 9,000 pounds was found in Palm Coast on January 11th. SeaWorld, known for their expertise in marine life, quickly jumped into action to assist in the rescue and transport efforts. Contrary to the rumors swirling around, SeaWorld set the record straight that there were no signs of pregnancy in the orca. They also confirmed that there were no indicators of human interaction or traumatic incidents. However, they did uncover something distressing, the presence of various illnesses that likely contributed to the whale's heartbreaking fate. What makes this incident even more shocking is the fact that it's the first time since 1956 that a killer whale has washed up on the Florida coast. Yep, the ocean is a dangerous place, even if you are a killer whale. Crocodile having sunbath. Imagine you're lying on a beautiful sandy beach, soaking up the sun and enjoying a relaxing vacation. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a 10-foot-long crocodile casually strolls into view. Yep, you heard that right. This jaw-dropping moment became a reality for some unsuspecting tourists on Palancar Beach in Cozumel, Mexico. As the camera rolls, you can hear the shocked voices of beachgoers urging everyone to get out, get out. The majestic crocodile confidently makes its way towards the water, while nearby staff members from a beach club, including the chef, can't help but watch in awe. Now, before you start panicking and canceling your beach vacation plans, it's worth noting that saltwater crocodiles are known to inhabit the lagoons and mangroves in the far north and south of Cozumel. The beach in question is not far from the Punta Sur Echo Beach Park, a natural haven for these incredible creatures. Luckily for the brave tourists, it seems this crocodile was simply seeking a refreshing swim and didn't pose a threat. In fact, the vacationers appeared surprisingly unfazed by their uninvited guest. Because, let's be honest, what's a wild encounter without the perfect social media snap, right? Giant Jellyfish Hold on to your leashes, folks, because a pet owner in Murrayside is issuing a bone-chilling warning about a monster lurking in a local beach. We're not talking about a mythical creature or a legendary sea monster here, but something equally as terrifying, large jellyfish. The alarming sighting took place at Ainsdale Beach and left one dog owner feeling absolutely spooked. Vilni Kuplinskate took to social media to share her harrowing experience. She recounted how her furry companion was sprinting towards what appeared to be an innocent ball. But as they approached, they soon realized that the supposed ball was in fact a colossal jellyfish. Thanks to Vilni's quick thinking, she managed to stop her dog before any disaster could strike. She then decided to spread the word, urging fellow dog owners to stay alert and steer clear of these gelatinous invaders. You see, even dead jellyfish can pack a sting, posing a serious danger to our four-legged friends. Photos snapped of the scene captured the enormity of the jellyfish sprawled across the sand, fueling the fascination and shock among onlookers. This monster of the sea has left many British people in awe of its colossal size. So, pet owners of Marie's side, it's time to be extra vigilant during your beach strolls. Keep a watchful eye on your furry pals, because you never know when they might mistake a massive jellyfish for a playful toy. Mysterious Creature A visitor to a South Carolina bridge has captured jaw-dropping footage of a mysterious creature lurking beneath the water's surface. The best part? Wildlife experts are scratching their heads in bewilderment, as they have yet to identify this enigmatic being. 
Rain McKinney, the lucky witness, managed to film the intriguing spectacle near the South Causeway Bridge. The video showcases what can only be described as an otherworldly fish gracefully gliding through the water. Its unique appearance has left experts baffled and searching for answers. Eager to shed some light on this aquatic mystery, McKinney promptly shared the footage with the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. However, even the wildlife representatives were left scratching their heads. It's worth noting that Atlantic brief squid are known to inhabit the waters of South Carolina, with their long finned squid cousins frequently making appearances in the neighboring North Carolina waters. But could this mysterious creature be something entirely different? Enter meteorologist Brad Panovich, who has his own fascinating theory. Panovich suggests that this unidentified wonder might actually be a sea slug, a species rarely seen in the waters of South Carolina, normally preferring the warmer embrace of Florida's waters. These sea slugs have been known to migrate northward as water temperatures rise. So what is this captivating creature that has graced the waters of South Carolina? Is it a squid, a sea slug, or something completely out of this world? Only time will tell. World's largest sea turtle. This humongous turtle is no gentle giant. This eight foot long turtle has been known to charge fishing boats that come too close and has a sharp beak that can smash through bones. Yikes. The biggest of all the turtles is also the most deadly. The leatherback turtle can be found in almost every ocean in the world, although their population is dwindling due to predators gobbling down their eggs. This terrifying turtle has a throat filled with rows and rows of razor sharp teeth, and it can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. Sounds like a sea monster that we definitely wouldn't want to bump into. These hefty guys can really throw their weight around. Yep, the leatherback turtle might be vulnerable, but it can definitely fight its own battles.